The first thing we're going to do is add and create texture to the skin. I'm using scar wax to create the texture of whatever it was that was all over Beetlejuice's face. I think it was supposed to be mold. The scar wax is sticky so I recommend putting a little bit of lotion on your fingertips to prevent it from sticking to them as you try to work with it. Use the back of the tweezer to shape the wax into a thick, splotchy, bumpy texture. To keep the scar wax from going flat and to make it easier to apply makeup over it later, I'm painting on some liquid latex over it. I'm patting over the liquid latex with a sponge to absorb the excess product. This also helps to create more texture in the skin. Next I'm going to paint my face white with a clown white product from Ben Nye. Set this with a translucent or even a white powder. I'm shading and contouring the perimeter of my face with a dark gray eyeshadow. Taking a green creamy product and applying it over the scar wax to give the base color for the mold. I'm using a combination of green eyeshadows out of this 88 palette to make the mold more dimensional and realistic looking. For a dirtier look, add a mixture of brown and gray to the molded areas. Don't forget that Beetlejuice was covered in mold up to his ears. Wrinkle your forehead and apply some brown or gray eyeshadow on top of the creases. Then trace inside them with a dark brown eyeshadow. Beetlejuice's eyebrows were a mess, so just make yours look extra crazy and sloppy. I'm using a purple cream grease paint that came with a cheap vampire kit to cover the area around my eyes all the way up to the brow. I'm going to use a combination of dark purple and dark pink eyeshadows to create depth, as his eyelids weren't just one shade of purple. Feel free to add a little bit of black as well. Beetlejuice was too busy to shave, so to recreate his 5 o'clock shadow, take a stippling brush and dip it into some brown and black eyeshadows and pat across the areas where there should be facial hair. Tighten your lips and apply some green over them to give the lips a dirty and dry appearance. Pearly whites were not a part of Beetlejuice's look. To mimic the look of ugly teeth, use a black or even a green cake icing. <laughs> 